In this chest is everything you'll need to make a button combination lock. Now, first of all, we're going to have to place in the buttons. Let's say seven buttons. Now you put in the buttons. Whoopsie daisy, you want them up here on the second block. And now, let's put in our green wool and then we put in our repeaters on top of them. You put in the repeaters set to their default one tick. And the reason why is because if you have redstone dust down the bottom here, all of the repeaters get powered. Same problem if you have redstone dust up the top here. This repeater gets powered and then all the redstone dust gets powered. So make sure that they're all repeaters. Now the reason why I got polished granite and polished andesite was because wherever the granite goes, that's where I'm going to put the... well that's where the button will have to be pressed in order to open the door. So let's make this combination very simplistic and go like this. Now you have more repeaters going out this way. And then you have sticky pistons into observers. Now I'm going to place the observers in first because their face needs to be facing out that way. So you do this right along here and then you put in the sticky pistons so that they're connecting to the observers. One block away you put more observers facing into the other line of observers. And then you put more repeaters in with four ticks of delay and then another row of repeaters with yet another four ticks of delay. Now here is the point where I take a leaf from the lever combinations book. So what was the combination here, here, here and here. Now we get some redstone dust and put in between all the gaps here and then one big long line of redstone dust and now you have a repeater going out here because let's say you have this about 15 blocks across you only have to do say these first three to open it up so that's why we put a repeater over there and then we take this big long trail of redstone dust you put a door in there but the problem is if you're using an iron door and your secret base is over here you're going to have to place the door like this so that technically it's open but it looks closed now let's give this a dry run First we're going to uh, press all of the buttons and see if the door opens. As you can see the door is very much still closed. The reason why is because while these uh, torches are being deactivated, the redstone dust is being activated. And as you can see that's why I put the second line of repeaters there to sort of hold the um, energy. Now we press all the buttons to uh, close it. Now we only press the buttons that need to be pressed. So it's this one, this one, this one, and this one. Now as you can see the door is now opened. Now this is a design that, as far as I know, I've come up with. Now of course, instead of the observers, you could have this entire thing one block more towards that way. And, you know, instead of observers, you could have redstone blocks which power these. Which I'd find to be a little more convenient. But, this is the design I thought up. 
in the moment and it's the design I'm proud of so hopefully this helps you in making your super secret well super top secret base and hope you enjoyed so see you in the next video